Let's turn to uh, the other big story of the week. Uh, you filed suit to ask a judge to overturn Arizona's new immigration law. It has put Republicans in a rage. Here's what Senate Republican leader Mitch McConnell said. He said, suing the people of Arizona for what the federal government has utterly failed to do will not help secure our borders. Senators Kyle and McCain, the Arizona senators, say, Attorney General Holder speaks to the federal government's responsibility to enforce immigration law, but what are people of Arizona to do when the federal government fails its responsibility? So why did you file this lawsuit? I understand, first off, the frustration of the people of Arizona and the concerns that they have with regard to the amount of illegal immigration that occurs. But the solution that the Arizona legislature came up with is inconsistent with our federal constitution. It is responsibility of the federal government to decide immigration policy. And what the Arizona, the Arizona legislature came up with was a, a statute that is inconsistent with the federal constitution. It's preempted by the federal uh, constitution. And on the basis of preemption, we decided uh, to file a lawsuit. We have an immigration policy that takes into account a whole variety of things, um, international relations, um, national security concerns, and it is the responsibility of the federal government as opposed to states doing it on a patchwork basis uh, to decide um, exactly what it is our, our policy should be with regard to immigration. And it was on that basis that we filed a lawsuit. You've heard the same criticism that I have. Uh, some are saying that it's just all politics, that uh, what you're trying to do is to brand Republicans as anti-immigration or, in fact, anti-Hispanic before the elections in November. No, not true at all. Um, the basis for this was a legal determination by those of us at the Justice Department that the law was inconsistent with the Constitution. And there, I think one has to also understand that there are a substantial number of Republicans and people in law enforcement who thought that the decision that we made to file this lawsuit was, in fact, the correct one. So it is not a model. There's not a Republican monolith here where people are saying in the Republican Party that this was an inappropriate decision. When the uh, Arizona law was first passed, both you and the president expressed concerns that it would lead to racial profiling because it allows the police, if they think someone might be in this country illegally, uh, gives them the right to stop them and, and, and they have to produce papers to show uh, that in fact they are citizens. Yet your lawsuit doesn't talk at all about racial profiling or if it even mentions it, it's just barely, it just talks about uh, the federal government is being preempted uh, from a duty that it has to perform. Why did you choose to go that route? Well, we wanted to go out with what we thought was our strongest initial argument and to focus what we thought on what we thought is the uh, most serious problem with the law as it now exists. It doesn't mean that if the law, for whatever reason, happened to go into effect, that six months from now, a year from now, we might not look at the impact the law has had and whether or not see whether or not there has been uh, that racial profiling um, impact. And if that was the case, uh, we would have the tools and we would uh, bring suit on that basis. Are you saying, though, that that states and local governments have no responsibility when it comes to enforcing immigration policy, that that's solely the responsibility of the federal government? No, states and loca local governments can certainly help the federal government uh, enforce immigration laws. What we're saying is that they cannot pass laws that are inconsistent with the federal laws or do things that contravene uh, federal policy when it comes to uh, the enforcement of our immigration laws. And the Arizona statute, if you look at the guts of it, really puts in place a whole variety of things that are inconsistent with what we have decided to do as a federal government. And, and it's on that basis that we decided to file the lawsuit.